Greetings, Eric Backer, naturopath, author of Candida Crusher. Thanks for checking out the video today. I've got a question from a patient in Japan, of all places. Can Candida become resistant to garlic? No, it can't become resistant to garlic. And there are many, many studies, both from your country in Japan, as well as China, Russia and America, uh, that validate garlic as probably one of the, the best of all ant natural antifungals you can use. There are many different compounds in garlic that are proven to have various effects on candida. So from the research I've read, it doesn't appear that a good quality garlic um, you know, is going to become ineffective against candida. So one of the most powerful chemicals in garlic it's actually created by one of the ingredients itself and an enzyme, so it's called ajouine, A-J-O-E-N-E, -E, ajouine. So ajouine is created when garlic is crushed and a chemical called allicin, which is inside it, mixes with an enzyme called alanase. So it's a combination of these two things together that create the ajouine. So American research has shown that ajouine actually is a cell wall disruptor, so it actually disrupts the cell walls of candida preventing it from forming. Plus, allicin itself uh, has shown to actually have very powerful candida killing effects. So uh, Russian studies from the 70s uh, and also uh, more recently from Japan, I believe there was an author called Benjamin Lau, Dr. Benjamin Lau, who wrote a very good book on garlic and showed that garlic had incredibly powerful antifungal effects on many different levels. So it's not going to be an ineffective product, unlike nystatin, uh, unlike uh, many of the uh, Zol drugs, uh, fluconazole, uh, drugs like that, for example, it become ineffective after a while. So the pharmaceutical companies will never match the power of things like grapefruit seed extract or garlic. So garlic is can be all incorporated into your diet and also taken as a dietary supplement. I created a product called Canzida and put a 2% uh, allicin containing uh, aged garlic extract in that product along with grapefruit seed extract and other, other things. So the 2% allicin is going to make sure that you're going to get you know sufficient antifungal activity in its own right. So make sure that when you do take a garlic extract uh, it does contain a high percentage of allicin. Allicin and alanin together are even better so that's why I like people to have raw fresh garlic in their diet one small clove per day chopped very finely um, or also a small clove swallowed actually as a capsule so it's another way you can you can take garlic in make sure if you do just gently crush it or scratch it so the the digestive juices can get in there and open the garlic up so garlic will always remain one of the best antifungal treatments for candida so i hope that answers your question thank you for tuning in